Hi everyone, welcome to a Reoforce tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to install Optifine into Minecraft. Optifine is a plugin which allows you to do all kinds of things, especially shaders into Minecraft. So uh, you're probably here for the custom shaders, I know I am. Uh, so here, let's just jump right in. This is, I'm going to be using version 1.13.2, but this works in all versions. Optifine hasn't changed. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate to Firefox. Google Optifine and go to optifine.net. However, beware, there are advertisements on Google. I have an ad blocker, so I didn't see them, but they'll try to send you to scam sites. All these down here, these are all fake, so don't buy, don't, don't do that. Don't download anything creepy. Uh, optifine.net, that's the official place. Now I'm going to download, download the newest here. Uh, on the download page, if I click it, you know, save. Where you got it downloaded. Uh, sometimes this will send you to an ad. Just be careful for that too. Uh, once it's downloaded, it'll be in your downloads folder, I'm assuming. I closed my downloads folder. Right here. Okay. So, you know, users downloads right there. Optifine is where I put it. I'm good. It's a jar file. So the, the thing about jar files, if you don't have Java installed, you can't open them. So you can click. Mm, no, not going to open. Don't have Java. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut it. We're going to navigate to C, Program Files x86, I think. Yep, Minecraft. We're going to go to Runtime, JRE x64, select the version, of course. Go to the bin folder. So, after going all this way, what is here? What do we need? We need Java. So, I'm going to paste it right here. I'm just going to rename it to Optifine because I don't want it to get confused whenever I'm typing the commands. So we have to use a command prompt to run this file since of course Java is right here, but clicking it does nothing. So click up here into the top of the bar um, of Windows Explorer, type in CMD, boom, opens up a command prompt right here in this folder. So, you know, Minecraft runtime uh, bin. So what I'm gonna type, I'm gonna type Java, which opens the program, which is java.exe, of course. Then I'm going to type dash jar, Let's go down, let's find the name, optifine.jar. I'm going to run it. It's going to run Optifine. This is how you run Optifine if you don't have Java installed. It says already where it's going to install to. See users, Benjamin, app data, roaming Minecraft. This is exactly where it belongs because it knows that. So I'm going to install it, and it's just going to unpack it. It's going to say it's done. I'm going to close. I'm going to delete this jar file because we don't need it anymore. It's just a downloader. Um, not a downloader, but uh, like a compressed package. I'm going to navigate to C users Benjamin Ape Data app, app, app Data <laughs> Roaming Minecraft. Uh, cl click versions, and there you go. Now you'll see I have 1.13.2 Optifine E5. This is it. This is my Optifine. Uh, so to use it, I'll have to restart Minecraft. So. we go it'll be right there so whenever you click the up button right here it'll be 13.2 optifine you click it and there you go you have optifine installed now just a bonus to get shaders um, go navigate to your favorite shader site like sonic ethers Seuss right there uh, good stuff I use this shader a lot look how look how good that looks hmm. actually I need to update my settings oh no <laughs> this is a pack anyway um yeah anyway i'm just you know you download it you just you put it in the nope wrong place you put it in the shader packs folder which i don't know if it was created with optifine or you have to create it yourself but this is you just put the zip right here so i have you know right there that's the shader uh all right so now you can play Minecraft with Optifine installed. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe.